Hello everyone. Today let us deal with environmental studies. Actually this is continuation of Shankar IA's environment series. Few chapters are already covered. You can watch those on playlist available in YSHIA's YouTube channel. Also please have a look at all other playlists which are exclusively designed for UPSC. These are all part of paid courses but on good response they can be availed free. If you feel the video is good you can like subscribe and leave a feedback comment also serious upsc aspirants can contact vice sir on whatsapp 7200681675 anytime for test series details or foundational videos this is chapter 12 animal diversity of india which comes under biodiversity section before we begin let us be clear in few things as environment around us keep on changing similarly environmental studies too keep on changing it can never be static so no need to by heart each and everything until and unless it's relevant always associate environmental studies with current affairs and only focus on those topics which are happening so this video can be taken as a basic understanding of animal diversity and no need to stress too much on my new details Let's look into mammals which are critically endangered. Again, general points. Why we are doing it is because at least if we go through it, we would be in a position to eliminate options and prelims. Let's look into some of them. First among them is pygmy hawk. It is the world's smallest wild pig, which weighs only around eight kgs. it prefers living in tall terai grasslands and thus become one of the most important useful indicators of the management status of grassland habitats now they are restricted to manus wildlife sanctuary this parasite called pygmy hawk sucking louse which feeds only on pygmy hawks will also fall in the category of critically endangered status as its survival is linked to that of the host species few of the threats that pygmy hawk faces are loss and degradation of grasslands dry season burning afforestation of grasslands etc andaman white toothed shrew jenkins andaman spiny shrew they are endemic to india active in the night andaman shrew found in mount harriet in the south andaman islands jenkins andaman spiny shrew right meow and mount harriet in the south andaman islands Similarly, Nicobar white-tailed shrew is found in the southern tip of Greater Nicobar Island, Campbell Bay National Park, to the Galatia River in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Threats, habitat loss, and natural disasters. Kandana rat, which is nocturnal, usually rats are nocturnal, burrowing rodent. It is found only in India. Kundana rat is found only in India that to within a small area the in small sinaghar plateau near pune in maharashtra threats include habitat loss overgrazing disturbance from tourism and recreational activities the large rock rat medium sized nocturnal they are found only in eastern ghats of tamil nadu The large rock rat is found in eastern ghats of Tamil Nadu. Threats include habitat loss, conversion of forests, etc. The Namdafa flying squirrel. It is unique as it is only one in its genus flying squirrel, now restricted to Namdafa Tiger Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. They are hunted for food. The Malabar civet It is one of the world's rarest mammals, endemic to India, found exclusively in the Western Ghats. So you can take the word Malabar as a hint in identifying its habitat, Western Ghats. Threats include deforestation, commercial plantations. The Sumatran rhinoceros. It is the smallest and most endangered of the five rhinoceros species. It is regionally extinct in India. Kashmir stag 
it is subspecies of red deer which is native to india found in high valleys mountains of the kashmir valley and northern chamba in himachal pradesh it is a state animal of jammu and kashmir habitat destruction overgrazing poaching are some of the threats kashmir stag is facing okay before we move further let us have a quick revision these are all mammals which come under critically endangered category pygmy hawk world's smallest wild pig which resides in tall terai grasslands now restricted to manas wildlife sanctuary andaman shrew jenkins spiny shrew nicobar white tail shrew andaman shrew found in mount harriet in the south andaman islands jenkins andaman spiny shrew again in the same place nicobar shrew found in the southern tip of greater nicobar island campbell bay national park kondana rat found only in india that too in a small area small sinagar plateau near pune in maharashtra the large rock rat found only in eastern ghats of tamil nadu namdafa flying squirrel unique flying squirrel found only in namdafa tiger reserve in arunachal pradesh malabar civet again exclusively found in the western ghats sumatran rhinoceros smallest and the most endangered of the five rhinoceros species kashmir stag state animal of jammu and kashmir found in kashmir valley and himachal pradesh okay all these mammals are critically endangered let's look into few of the facts because we can never trust upsc it may ask anything and everything let's look into few of the facts penguins don't live near fresh water they drink salt water they have a special gland in their bodies that takes the salt out of the water they drink frogs tongues are attached to the front of their mouths rather than at the back cobras are cannibals which mean that they eat other snakes sharks have the most powerful jaws on the planet both upper and lower jaws move let's look into few of the marine mammals dolphins comes under this category fresh water or river dolphin it is distributed all over indian subcontinent that is india bangladesh nepal and pakistan which are again split into two subspecies ganges river dolphin and indus river dolphin ganges river dolphin could be seen in ganges brahmaputra rivers and their tributaries in bangladesh india and nepal as we all know ganges river dolphin is the national aquatic animal of india indus river dolphin could be seen in indus river in pakistan and its bias and sutlej tributaries dugong and manatees are the herbivorous marine mammals which inhabit swamps rivers marine wetlands dugong is also known as sea cow it looks somewhat like this which falls under vulnerable category it is hunted and its numbers are decreasing due to habitat degradation fishing related fatalities etc manatees are distributed in the caribbean part that is caribbean sea gulf of mexico amazon basin west africa threat includes coastal development red tide hunt few exceptions to these mammals are egg laying mammals This is unique feature of monotremes which is a subdivision of mammal usually mammals give birth to young ones but this division of mammal lay eggs There are only 5 living monotremes the duck-billed platypus and four species of spiny anteaters and they could be found only in Australia and New Guinea Spiny anteaters are also known as echidnas platypus is a semi aquatic mammal and these are endemic to eastern australia female usually female retires to a burrow to lay eggs and this male platypus has venom strong enough to kill small organisms example dog and 
they can also cause pain among humans marsupials these are the group of mammals also known as pouched mammals they have placenta but it is very short lived and does not make much contribution to fetal nourishment they give birth very early and do not have long gestation times these are some of the marsupials kangaroo also come under this category now we'll look into birds which are critically endangered again only general points the jerdon's courser a nocturnal bird found only in the northern part of andhra pradesh it prefers living in undisturbed scrub jungle thus becomes a flagship species for the extremely threatened scrub jungle threats include clearing of scrub jungle creation of new pastures illegal trapping of birds quarrying etc the forest owlet had been lost for more than a century and was rediscovered in 1997 it is found in south madhya pradesh northwest and north central maharashtra logging operations and deforestation are few of the threats the white bellied heron it's extremely rare bird found in few sites in assam and arunachal pradesh bhutan and myanmar it is found in bhutan northeast india and north myanmar threats include loss and degradation of lowland forests and wetlands the bengal florican this is important because it keeps appearing in news it's a rare bustard species very well known for its mating dance it is native to only three countries cambodia india and nepal in india it is found in uttar pradesh assam and arunachal pradesh ongoing conversion of the grassland habitat is one of the major threats the himalayan quail it is presumed to be extinct since no reliable records exist after 1876 and these species are hard to detect due to its reluctance to fly and its preference for dense grass habitats they mostly reside in western himalayas indiscriminate hunting is one of the major threats himalayan quail is facing since colonial period pink headed duck it has not been conclusively recorded in india since 1949 males have a deep pink head and neck from which the duck derives its name if at all found it could be seen in india maximum records are from northeast india bangladesh and myanmar threats wetland degradation habitat loss sociable lapwing it is a winter migrant to india but this species has suffered sudden and rapid population decline due to which it is listed under this category habitat fallow fields and scrub desert distributed all over central asia russia egypt india threats include conversion to agricultural land illegal hunting etc spoon billed sandpiper it requires highly specialized breeding habitat due to which its population number is not seen a rise habitat coastal areas it is it could be seen in west bengal orissa kerala tamil nadu habitat degradation human disturbance are some of the threats siberian crane it is a large majestic migratory bird that breeds and winters in wetland it is seen in kolaru national park in rajasthan threats include pesticide pollution wetland drainage conversion of habitat into agricultural fields etc <coughs> again few of the facts roots store more starch than the trunk roots do not have a central pit which is soft central tissue while the trunk do have a central pit majority of tree roots are non woody which live for a few weeks 
root hairs grow within days when water temperature and nutrients are available to them in a sufficient quantity corals we'll just look into fire corals they are more cl closely related to jellyfish than corals on contact one usually feels a burning sensation they are found in inshore waters they also display a tolerance for siltation they can be seen in indonesia gulf of chiriki panama pacific province they are collected for decoration and jewelry trade and most of them are harmed due to bleaching effects caused by global warming birds migration migration refers to regular recurrent and cyclical seasonal movement of birds from one place to other the distance of migration ranged from short distance to thousands of kilometers but at the end of the period they will eventually return back to the original place so just remember keywords like regular recurrent cyclical and after the end of their uh time period birds will eventually return to their original place reasons for migration to avoid extreme climatic conditions to manage food and water shortage to have a better breeding condition and to avoid competition for safe nesting places these are migratory birds classified under winter birds and summer birds winter birds are those birds which come from a colder region to with warmer temperature areas so that they can escape the extreme cold siberian cranes greater flamingo and wood sandpiper are few of them similarly summer birds include asian quail cuckoo comb duck etc wildlife diseases let us look into few of the diseases its causative organism and the animal susceptible to the disease tuberculosis it is caused by bacteria mycobacterium tuberculosis deer cat primates elephant are few of the animals affected by tuberculosis anthrax bacillus anthrax is caused by a bacteria and these are the organisms which are susceptible to the disease rabies rabies is caused by a virus known as rabies virus tiger lion bear mongoose squirrel are few of the animals affected by it foot and mouth disease caused by fmd foot and mouth disease virus gor nilgai chetal yak mithun etc are the animals affected by it rinder pest caused by microbial virus these are the animals susceptible to the disease trypanosomia caused by trypanosomia virus tiger elephant sambar macaque are few of the organisms that is affected by the disease taxoplasmosis caused by taxoplasma gondii rhesus macaque and civet cat get affected by this disease species extinction extinction is caused caused through various processes deterministic processes stochastic processes deterministic processes have this cause and effect relationship until and unless there is a cause the number of population or the effect on the population is very minimal example glaciations human interference such as deforestation etc until and unless there is deforestation or glaciation the impact on the number of population or on the diversity of population is not much considered stochastic processes these are random events that affect the survival and reproduction of individuals example weather changes decreased food supply disease outbreak increase of competition etc of course this impact will depend on the size and degree of genetic diversity and resilience of populations 
few of the traits that adversely affect the species vulnerability to extinction are rarity or low abundance that is less number poor dispersal ability that is they are endemic to a particular region ecological spe uh, specialization they get habituated to a particular ecosystem unstable populations high trophic status as animals occupy a higher trophic level we all know the population number would decrease low adult survival rates and there is low rate of population increase also body size fecundity dietary specialization also comes into play natural extinctions they have been caused due to several factors continent drifting climate change tectonic activity volcanic activity the late ordovician global glaciation and cretaceous extinction extinction in vascular plants has been more gradual compared with the loss of animals this is mainly because this is accompanied by a gradual climate change it is not any sudden event and advanced plant forms gradually displaces this vascular plants that could also be a reason artificial extinction even though species extinction is a natural process extinction caused by humans is now happening over and above the reasonable estimate of natural extinction rates there are two types of causes direct causes and indirect causes direct causes include hunting capturing persecution etc indirect causes habitat loss modification fragmentation of habitat introduction of other invasive species etc man animal conflict this refers to interaction between wild animals and people due to which there is a negative impact on either people or their resources or on wild animals or their habitat it occurs when wildlife needs overlap with those of human population creating cost to both residents and wild animals causes of man animal conflict human population growth land use transformation habitat loss increasing livestock population this would exclude wild herbivores of their habitat growing interest in ecotourism abundance of wild prey increasing wildlife population climatic factors stochastic events that is random events impacts impacts of man animal conflict crops could be damaged livestock could be harmed injuries to people loss of human life damage to property injuries to wildlife animal deaths habitat loss etc preventive strategies this could be prevented by creating artificial and natural barriers adopting a guarding mechanism alternative high cost livestock husbandry practices could be employed relocation could be taken place waste management systems that restrict wildlife access can be brought mitigative strategies compensation systems could be developed insurance and incentive programs can be made available community based natural resource management schemes can be brought forward regulated harvest increase alternate crops translocation of wildlife then giving education to local populations sharing of information etc so this is this completes chapter 12 animal diversity of india hope you like the video if yes please subscribe to the channel